What up, YouTube? I just got done talking with my good friend Aaron about his huge, massive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle haul that he got just recently. Um, this is part one. We'll be talking about the figures, and then in part two, we'll be talking about all the vehicles. Uh, hope you enjoy. <laughs> So this was the massive haul that I've always wanted to find. Um, you know, did you find, where, who, where, how'd you find the buyer for all this? So I peruse Facebook Marketplace pretty much every single day uh -huh. and just look for Ninja Turtle stuff. Cause my dream is always to find somebody who's my age who had all their Ninja Turtles and found a box in their mom's attic or whatever and just said, hey, I found all my turtles, let me sell them. And this is it. This is it. So this guy, he organized a lot of it. I can see that. Yeah. In, in baggies, yeah. Yeah. He had, he had an idea of what it was worth. It wasn't like it. I didn't steal the stuff, basically. I paid up for it. But what I'm able to keep, um, I'm able to complete part of my collection. And then I'm going to be able to sell the additional stuff that I don't want. So a lot of this is duplicates. A lot of it is um, silly turtles that I don't want any part of. Uh, I'm not focusing on vehicles. The Technodrome is also yeah. part of it too. That was part of the lot. But there's very few vehicles I'm keeping. And I think all of these figures in here are additional ones that I don't need. So we'll go through some of them. Sure. Here. So there's like a football Donatello. And this is a prime example of something that I don't... Or no, that's Leonardo. Football Leonardo. I can so, see, yeah, I can see. Touchdown Tossin, I think is what he's called. <laughs> so he has that little feature and he'll, uh -huh. throw, he'll throw a football. And uh, I just don't want it, you know? Uh, <laughs> he's not really my focus. Uh, now how much do you, do you think he'll try and sell that for? I don't know. I would have to look into it. Mm -hmm. This is not a particularly valuable one. You know, he may be like a, because I think he's complete. He's got both of those footballs. I think he might be like a fifteen dollar figure as he is. Sure. Um, astronaut Raph. That's another one. Turtles did go in space in the cartoons, but uh, I don't really. Yeah, know. I can see if you. I don't have room. A little on my ridiculous. Shelf for <laughs> yeah, I'd say like there's it's probably not the most ridiculous. Here's a talking Michelangelo. Uh, probably doesn't work very well, but he's got these little strips. And a lot of them are missing the strips. We'll see if we can make them work. Oh, I bet that strip is missing on lots of them. We'll see. Mm. Maybe we'll have to come back around to this. Yeah, we won't worry about that. I'm sure he doesn't work very well if he does work. Yeah, when I first, I don't think I ever had that one as a kid. If I did, I don't recall having it. So there's duplicates. I think I've ended up, I've got three or four. Uh huh. Him. I've got a few of him. He's a cool one though. This is a neat one actually. I, I thought about keeping this one. I probably won't. So he's a, a dino riding turtle, which is kind of silly. <laughs> He's like a he's a cave turtle, so it's yeah. a cave. I kind of like him. Yeah. He's got like that big brow there. Yeah, um, I like the caveman <laughs> outfit there. Yeah, he's well sculpted. A little Fred Flintstone ass. Yeah, he's well sculpted. He's got a spear and a little like it's it's Raphael, so he's got a really like primitive looking yes. side. Yes. But the coolest part, and it actually happens to be on the top, is they came with a oh. they came with a mount. And what's funny is I can tell the guy hung these from the ceiling because look at the yarn yeah. that was on his neck. So the guy probably had these displayed on his, uh, hanging from his bedroom ceiling. So they would sit on top. That's kind of cool though. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, he is kind of cool. So I yeah, thought I'd get some good money for that, those combined, yeah. Yeah, I think that one's pretty valuable. He's probably like 50 to 75 bucks. Uh, Great condition too, like, yeah. yeah. He, Not, you know, paint looks good. The, he was a spoiled kid. I told him that too when I bought it. I was like, man, your parents must have really loved you. This was an interesting one. So these were like little mini turtle play sets. Yeah. So you open them up and they have, this one is, uh, you got a little teeny rock steady there. Oh, look at that. Yeah. 
He's uh, the detail. I would think just that right there would be valuable. Cause, I mean, yeah. how, how easy would that have got lost? That's why virtually none of these are complete. I think they had weapons, and I don't have any of the weapons. Like, this is effortless. You know, Star Wars did something similar where they made micro figures, but they uh -huh. never really caught on at all. Yeah, these are popular with collectors. So there's a little Donatello, and I think he was supposed to have a little bow staff, which virtually no one has the little bow staff. But I think this little guy's like 10 bucks. I believe it. Yeah. I think he's like 10 bucks himself. And there's a little uh, Raphael there, too. Oh, yeah. So this is... Yeah, the detail in those look really good. Too. Yeah. So people were people were pretty uh, into those. This is a real common figure. I think that's uh, General Trag, Rock Soldier. I think he's from uh -huh. the second series. There's this, like, really ridiculous mutating... There's mutating Splinter. Just he looks awful. Like look at that. Yeah, he looks, I don't like he to looks look at that one. Really more. stupid. Yeah. And yeah, he turns into the turtle van, the party bus. Oh, he's a transformer. He's a transformer, yeah. And uh I don't know if I could transform him <laughs> well, but I think yeah. Looks like I'm kinda there. Yeah, you almost got it. Yeah. yeah. Get the oh yeah, there we go. I'm well on my way. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. Wow. I impressed myself. There you go. So he started as a Splinter figure and now he's, nice, uh, now he's the party bus. Um, and there's Splinter's face driving it. That is kind of neat in a way, but not my thing. And then there were some... Those. There's another example of a silly turtle that I don't want. <laughs> Happy birthday, turtle. Happy birthday, Leo. Uh, these are actually popular. I'm not sure how much they're worth. He's got his little party hat and a cake. A little pizza slice stuck in his hand permanently. He's got confetti paint all over in him. Great condition, too. Good condition, yeah. This kid took good care of his toys. So some of the, some of them that I was really happy. Oh, there's, that's the epitome of stupid turtles. Clown. Birthday clown, Michelangelo. Some of these that I was really happy to find was Antrax. He's the one who's, I, actually, I already have him, but he's really hard to find complete because all of this stuff comes out. Well, that's fixed in there, yeah. So a lot of times you'll find Antrax and he's missing. Like, oh, sure, those yeah, little pieces like Little that. mandibles and his antenna, those are missing. How much do you think he's worth? He is worth, I paid 50 bucks for a complete one not too long ago, but I think he's gonna go up in value. As, yeah. Um, there's, there's another silly one I don't want. It's like a Beach Patrol, uh, <laughs> Raphael. Uh, this is a pretty cool one. He is, uh, gosh, what is his name? Um, Dirtbag, that's his name. That's a good name, Dirtbag. Yeah, this is Dirtbag. He's a, he's a mole, he's on Shredder's crew. He's one of those really detailed figures. He's got this yeah. mom tattoo on his he's arm. Ripped. Yeah, he's jacked. <laughs> got the body we all want. Yeah, that's he's right. got his teeth marks here. He's got like a cut here. The turtles were loaded with this unpainted detail. He's got a bandage. Oh yeah, you can see that. So they, whoever sculpted this guy put a lot of love into it. Here's a good one. Everybody loves this one. This is Monty Moose. He might be the only Canadian Ninja Turtle figure. I like that one. He's very cool. I like yeah. the colors he pops. Yeah, he's got good colors. He's another one who's got a really nice sculpt on him. Now, one of one of my favorite features on turtle figures is the companion. A lot of times they don't have the companion with them, but he does. So. Oh yeah. I forget what this guy's name was. He's a beaver. I don't remember this guy's name, but he does have a name. Um, when I was a kid, I loved the ones that had companions. So like, I have a soft spot for any figure with a companion. And there were quite a few of them that did. Here's another one. This guy's got the super original name, Sergeant Bananas. <laughs> I wonder why he's Sergeant Bananas. Um, but his companion, Larry the Lemur. Oh yeah. I love this guy. He's super crazy looking. He's one of the few companions that has any articulation to him. That's interesting too. 
There's another classic one with a companion there on top. This is a fairly common figure. Ray Filet. I would never would have guessed that's a that's a turtle figure. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh he color changes, I think, so you dip him in water and oh, his chest. Oh, chameleon, yeah. So there's his companion. That's uh I think his name was Fish Sticks. So he's a little fish and he's like he's got dynamite on him. He's got like dynamite on his back. Yeah, there we go. Pretty cool guy. Ray Filet is real classic turtle figure. Um, but the most valuable ones, I'm trying to find them. There we go. Sandstorm. Sandstorm's a hundred bucks. That figure right there, hundred yeah, bucks. He's a hundred bucks. Got Sandstorm complete with all of his accessories. So Sandstorm is uh, an Arabian camel wearing like the classic you know, Arabian gear. Uh -huh. He has a flying carpet shield. Oh, shield. That's yeah, it's cool. flying carpet shield. He has his scimitar. So That's in great condition too. Yeah, really good condition. And his little magic genie pistol. Yeah, oh, his pistol. But, yeah. I just can't get over how good condition all these things are. And that they have, most of them have their accessories too. Yeah, this guy took way better care of his stuff than I did. Here's another valuable one, Scale Tail. Scale Tail had a lot of accessories, so a lot of them are missing on, on them. Um, all those bright orange pieces, those are all his accessories. Yeah. He is an unusual figure because almost all turtles had the legs, you know? Yeah. He's the, he's one, He's the only one that I can think of. Well, other murder. Like the face there, too. Yeah, he's got like a machine gun snake tongue. He's really cool. Really cool sculpt on yeah. him. Yeah. He's got a lot of interesting pieces. There's snakes all over his body. It's like he's got a snake wrapped around his yeah, tail. Yeah, that's there. A, cool, a cool figure. Yeah. They've put a lot of care into sculpting these. Quite the haul. Yeah, let me show you a couple more. Um, there's another stupid one. There's a rock and roll Raphael. Kind of looks like one of the old wrestling figure, wrestling yeah. guys from back in the day from Rock and Roll Express. Yeah, he does. He's got the Rock and Roll Express motif. He does. Sure. He does. He really does. Yeah. 80s hair metal. Yeah. King Lionheart. He's a valuable one. He's about 50 bucks. He's got all his accessories. Um, Dr. L. He's a really cool figure. He's got a... Uh, He's got everything that comes with him. He also had some parts that a lot of people lost, so this stuff could oh, that's come a cool out. Figure. His uh, his trunk could come off. Yeah, look at that. He's got an arrow through his knee. Yes. There's some blood there. Um, unpainted loincloth. He's got all the elephant wrinkles. He had a little shackle. It's a nice touch. Elephants are scared of mice, but he's got a mouse on his foot. Oh yeah. You know, oh. Broken tusks. This he's really neat. He's got the uh, that goes on head there he's got a really cool shield there's a little voodoo doll you can tell it's supposed to be like out of wood it's got arrows stuck through it the spear comes out he's got uh his bone nunchucks in there he's a neat figure he's probably 50 bucks i think he'll probably go up in value more and more mm -hmm. he's one of the more unusual ones and then one more that I really wanted to find to show you that it, that sold me on this lot was uh, I, think I showed you. Oh yeah, like, I remember one from of your collection <laughs> over there. Yep, one of my all-time favorites, Half Court the Giraffe. Um, really hard to find him with all of his accessories because he came with a bunch. So he had he had an air pump machine gun, which actually this is reused because there's one the exact same gun, which is a different color, was one of the Corny beach turtles or sports turtles, mm -hmm. I can't remember. He has a companion. It's uh, Ruff the Ref. So he's like a little flamingo. He's yeah. got his leg in a sling. Um, I don't know that it makes much sense to me. He doesn't look like a referee, but he's kind of neat. His basketball is a beehive basketball covered with bees. Look at that. Yeah. And then this actually is a separate piece, his backboard. Which I would double oh, as a cool. shield yeah. too, but it fits right onto the back of his head. Look at the the Neat. basketball net around his neck. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure a half court could dunk on you. I bet he could. Yeah. He's cool, man. This is like one of the most. What a haul! Yeah. 
So that's so it that, for the figures. That's just the say. figures. Yeah, that's just the figures. We'll have to look at the uh, we'll look vehicles. at the vehicles next. 